Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natoya and on this channel we make and discuss art. Today we'll be making a multi-layer gel plate print. So you will need your gel plate, your acrylic paints and rollers. You'll also need a magazine and some paper. If you need a refresher on this, I have a video on the basis, basics of gel plate printing and I will link it down below so you can watch it. I usually start by leafing through a magazine to see what image will jump out at me and I'll take it and put it aside. Sometimes I use the images that I rip and sometimes I don't. I have quite the impressive stack of just random magazine pages. I like to use a fashion magazine because I find that this is what appeals to my aesthetic the images just the the overall vibe this is what i want to create but you can create anything you'd like you can choose any magazine you like so this is just a natoya thing so here i am i have some leaves ripped and i'm just selecting how i want my image to look so you have to think about your image in reverse when you're doing a multi-layer print and just kind of stack your images before you even start printing so that you get your desired outcome. Things that I've already ripped and just seen what jumps out at me in that instance. For a print like this, I don't have a lot of planning because I'm just doing a print just for uh, printing sake. So there's not a whole lot of plan that went into this one. All right, so this is gonna be our base layer and it's just kind of a nice living room scene. This will also be another for base layers. So our base layers are layers that we probably won't see very much of. They'll just kind of pop through with little hints of detail to enhance the final image. So this will be our final image and we're going to layer it all together to make one cohesive image. And here I am laying out the colors that I'll be using. I like to go from lightest to darkest because I find that it layers much nicely. I made this pink and I just really want you guys to see that I made that beautiful pink color. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I find that it's easier to go from lightest to darkest so that you get a little bit more depth and quality to your image. But like I said, a gel plate is an experimental thing and you can do whatever you like. So this is my 8x10 gel plate. Um, I believe this one is from Gel Press or Jelly Arts. I'm not sure. I use them. I use both brands. And this is just a wet piece of paper towel that I'll use to clean up my image as I go along. We are starting off strong with a dollop of yellow ochre onto the gel plate. This has a heavy body acrylic paint and it tends to not mix that evenly and you'll see that it'll just leave a little blop in the image but that's fine it doesn't bother me too much. If this is something that bugs you you might want to mix your paint on a palette before applying it to the gel plate. See that little blot there that I'm trying to like work at but it wasn't quite coming out. So once I have a nice even layer of paint on my gel plate, I'm going to take my image and press it into the gel plate. You want to make sure that you're laying down your image nice and evenly and there's no bunching or just bubbling in the image. There's a little bit of bubbling in my image, but that's fine. We're, we're just going to work with it. Once I'm satisfied, I remove the image from 
the magazine sheet from the gel plate and now I'm going to follow up with a little bit of white paint to create a background layer for lifting the image from the plate. This portion is all personal preference and you should let your image dry before you apply your background color. Here I am just removing some of the excess paint from my roller with a scrap piece of paper that I have lying around. And I love these scrap pieces of paper because by the end of a couple printing sessions, they are by themselves artwork. So here I am just put in um, just the thinnest layer of white paint on the back of the gel plate. And I'm going to use my paper to pick up that image. I'm pressing the paper into the plate using the palm of my hand and just really concentrating everywhere the image is. Once I'm satisfied, I'll lift the paper off to see my transfer. So there you can see that dollop of paint in the middle there. I think this came out really beautifully. It's just nice and light and ghostly. So it will mirror. Now I'll use my pink paint and a bit of red to create this second layer and basically we're just going to repeat the same process until we get to the end I have to say that this layer is probably my most satisfying one because the color, as you'll see, is so vibrant and just the transfer is very, very beautiful. This is a really great example of a gel plate transfer and I was just gagging. I'm like, ah, this is so great. Look at this one. Now I'm going to take my paper towel and just remove the names of the designers in this image because I just I don't want to have their names in there and you want to make sure your paper towel isn't too wet because you don't want to have water on your gel plate it just has to be a little bit damp and you just remove you can just edit your image basically right on top of your gel plate. It is so fun and so easy.
essentially you just repeat the steps from step one and you really press your image into your plate and then when you're satisfied you can lift it off to see what you've created and it is really gorgeous see that's why i love to work from lightest to darkest you can kind of see some of the ghost in of the image one underneath and then image two just prominently on the top there's some ghost in on the gel plate but that's fine it's not a huge deal breaker you can use your paper towel to wipe that off if it bugs you but for me i think it kind of just adds interest so i'm gonna go straight in to layer three with this beautiful green color and just put that all over the gel plate i'm also using the same roller from the pink layer um, because it just gives the color a little bit more depth and it's a little bit beautiful so then I'm going to put these shoes down. This is going to be our third layer. Also, stick around for the next video where I'm going to do a video of all these cute little pups. I can't, can't get over how cute these dogs are. And I found a bunch of images of dogs and I'll be making a video just of dog pictures. I am obsessed with dogs. And if you see my husband, tell him to get us a dog. Anyway, so we are just push pushing that into the gel plate and I'm using my paper towel once again to clean up the sides of the plate where the image doesn't stick. And this is a beautiful transfer. I love these shoes. So if you wanted to clean up the edges, you could, but I'm going to just go ahead and pull this layer. I'm sorry for the shakiness of the video. I have a new setup and I will fine tune it by the time we get to our next video. So here we are with our third layer. And as you can see, each layer is individually represented and beautiful because we're working from lightest to darkest and we can really get that richness of color for each layer. Now we're going to move on to our final layer, which is the black layer, and it's always my favorite one to do. So for your black layer, you want the smallest amount of paint, like a pea-sized amount of paint. You can always um, build up your paint, but it's a little bit more difficult to take away paint. So as you can see there, I put too much. I'm a little bit heavy-handed. But I put a little too much paint and now I'm just trying to find my perfect consistency because the number one rule of gel plate printing where people say, oh, my print doesn't work. It's because you probably have way too much paint on your plate. So I'm just trying to get the best evenness consistency so that we can get this image looking almost as if I printed it myself from the magazine. So this looks great. Now we're gonna take our image and repeat the same steps again. Put it down on the plate. And really work that into the plate. is stunning this one came out so beautiful and I'm gonna just clean up the image a little bit with my paper towel and it's just the same paper towel that we've been using the duration of this video the entirety of this video and we're just cleaning up the image I don't want it to look super perfect but I just need it to look pretty good you know 
Now we'll take our image and we will push it, we will press it into the plate for this final layer. And you can keep going if you'd like, you know? But these things, you can make as many layers as you want, as long as they show up or whatever works for you. But this is going to be the last layer, and I think it's going to turn out beautifully. Like, check that out. Every single color every layer is fully represented and it just looks so beautiful so stunning i love this image and thank you guys for sticking with me for this tutorial this video and i hope to see you in the next one let me know what you want me to work on next thank you bye